the impacts of Hurricane Umberto and Imelda. Now, both are expected to stay far out at sea, and thank goodness for that. But parts of the East Coast and some other countries are going to feel the impacts. Let's go to Peyton Kennedy. She's following the very latest. Yes, Imelda and Umberto will continue to bring high surf along the East Coast as they both threaten Bermuda with more force. The outer banks, or the outer bands of Hurricane Umberto hit Bermuda on Tuesday. They are bracing for a more direct pass from the stronger Hurricane Imelda. Bermuda's Minister of National Security says Bermuda will face sustained hurricane force winds for up to six hours later today. Yesterday, five unoccupied houses along North Carolina's Outer Banks collapsed into the ocean. It's according to the National Park Service. No injuries were reported. People in the area described the dramatic scene. I had just come back from fishing down at the point, parked down on Old Lighthouse Road, I was walking up, and as soon as I got to our driveway, the very first one started to collapse. And uh, so after that, we I could call my wife out. We just uh, stepped outside, and after that, it was just a chain reaction of debris in the water, and everything gets started getting tangled up in the other pilings, and then the other houses started to fall. Late Monday, the Cuban prime minister reported two people died after Imelda. In Santiago de Cuba, it's reported flooding and landslides cut off 17 communities. More than 24,000 people live in those communities. Guys.